Good morning, it's Barry with Growing Roots Farm. I just want to take you on a little bit of a tour of our uh, indoor chicken and rabbit area. We use the greenhouse. Uh, my wife did a recent blog on this. Uh, I enjoy reading, but I'm much more of a video guy myself. So let's take a look at all this and uh, give you a few details. What we got um, and I've covered this before in other videos. We have a 20 by 60 greenhouse. Uh, it's just a, a simple hoop frame. And we've learned from our mistakes a little bit. Last year, we had the same amount of space. So we had, uh, this is roughly 44 foot long, okay? 40, 44, 44 foot long, 20 foot wide is the area that the chickens are in now. Uh, we have our feed right outside. We move it out of the barn into here so that in the winter time, we're not having to go back and forth with feed for the chickens um, and for the rabbits. Um, but we had an old gate that was on our property when we moved here. I, you can kind of see it. I put chicken wire on it. Uh, big fan of zip ties. And I just zip tied everything together. And then the mistake we made last year is that we didn't have this kind of netting i put it just a small gap up there uh, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to get through that and then i added and i i'm just realizing i hope the video uh, i apologize for the wind it's a little little windy uh but i added a door so i'll take you through here just a little bungee strap go through the door door closes back they can't really get through it uh they can but they, they got to work for it so we've got somewhere around 70 chickens or so in here we got a mixture um we got some some barred rocks which have been my favorite we we've had several um several different barred rock batches now or a couple different ones they've they've been my favorite and I forget what these are. Maybe a Rhode Island Red variant, maybe, I think. But we got some Americanas, some um, Sapphire Gems, uh, and we got our duck, Stinky. That's his name, is Stinky. The... <laughs> I got a few things to do in here. Um, the nesting box, I thought, well, I got this old tarp. Chickens like to have a little bit of privacy with their nesting, so I'll put this old tarp on here. Within a day... They took that tarp and basically turned it into like a party feature here. So that's going to be getting replaced. I think I'm just going to do it simple. Some old t-shirts, rip them up, cut a slot in them so they can get in. And I'll probably cover the backside as well. Uh, chickens really prefer to have their privacy when they're laying their eggs. And it helps keep the nesting boxes cleaner. They don't kick out as much, stuff, as much of the debris. You can see down there they kick out some of it. Uh, which we don't really want. We want to keep the nesting boxes clean. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, lady. Um, but they, they're they doing well with that. They're still learning. This is, I just built this. Um, I threw it together really simple, very crude um, construction. But if it works, it works. I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on a nesting box. Uh, but so far, it's working really well. We just have a few milk crates in it. Uh, just three milk crates and put in a ledge if you if you're new to chickens and this ledge may need to even be added to you want to add uh something in the front so they can't kick out all of your nesting material and i might even have to raise it another inch or so uh, because they still kick more out than i prefer we have some water which we change that every two to three days um, that's mainly for our duck and then I've got a roosting, uh, threw it together with some old scrap material and some tobacco sticks. Just really simple construction. Um, didn't need to spend any money on it. It's a pretty, look at that chicken. I think that's an Americana. It's one of the prettier chickens we've had. The features on it are really pretty. And then these over here, their feathers are really unique. Very pretty chickens. Um, now it one and I'll go back here for a second. We put out feed this morning. Most days when we're feeding them, I mean, they're in here full time in the winter. They're happy. 
and you can tell they're happy because when we come in here and we put feed down they don't attack us they don't they don't um they don't go crazy yeah they'll eat but look at them they're out here they're out here doing their own thing there's no food over there uh they're finding they're 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 doing their own thing they're happy uh we've done this we did this last year so this is our second year doing inside the greenhouse in the winter and it works out really well for us and for the chickens we also have the rabbits um this was an upgrade that we did this year i added one two three yeah i did four technically i have a fifth one partially built but we we halted that one um but we have we have um we have large rabbit boxes they get brushed out and pet on and uh they're they're almost like little puppy dogs so they'll, they'll let you hold them uh they are french angora i always get the angoras mixed up if it's english or french i believe ours are the french angora my wife knows a whole lot more about them than i do um they're more they're more her her pets but they're super soft the angora uh, fiber is really soft and then we just run a five gallon bucket and we keep it pretty full the black tubing um it comes in a kit i've done some before that was not the black tubing i've done the clear i'd picked up and done my own from tractor supply and it just got so much algae um i didn't care for it so we switched everything to the black and this works a lot better also this kit um uh, it, it just it get it clips together really easy here i'll show you we got one that might have babies here soon so we got a little nesting box and we got two of the waters over here but they just clip to the wire work really easy they're very simple <clears throat> and our waters oh i want to show you one thing about the waters so these waters are are nice i there are some disadvantages to them but one one thing about them is the chickens and it may be the duck the duck does the most of this they will we've got about five inches of mulch down here thanks to uh the tree service that trimmed everything around the electric lines this, this summer but they'll push a lot of that mulch into that that water housing and the problem is that the mulch will get in the hole where the water's supposed to come down and it'll clog it and the water will get stopped. So that is something that we have to pay attention to every day is to make sure that water's good. I guess worst case scenario, if that got completely stopped, we do have the little kiddie pool with water for the duck. Um, so worst case scenario, but it's not normally as clean of water. <laughs> And we want to keep our animals healthy. So they're looking good. That's just kind of a quick tour. Um, we're trying to do a little compost deal over here in the corner. We got to get some more compost material um, to really get that running. We thought we would put up the boards so they couldn't kick it all out. They kick it all out regardless. They they peck and scratch and they end up getting that that stuff all over the place. Uh, but one of the things that we're looking forward to is there's about, like I said, about five inches of mulch in here already. And that's going to be added to over the course of, of the winter. Um, so come next spring, come the spring, when we utilize this side here for our vegetables, um, we should do really, and you can see we still have some of the old strings. We, we uh, trellised our tomatoes. I mean, our, our tomatoes got eight foot tall this year. Uh, they were, I, I, some of them probably got taller than that because the center there, I think is around 10, 10 foot tall, maybe a little bit taller. And the tomatoes, some of the tomatoes were all the way to the top of our uh, greenhouse. Um, we just used twine. So just used twine. And once again, I didn't spend any money on it. I just took some, some lumber we had, ripped it and uh, hung it up there. Um, just really, it, you know, if it gets the job done, that's, that's all we need. Uh, we don't need anything expensive or elaborate, but that's it. Just wanted to show you around the greenhouse. Like I said, my wife did a blog. She's a, if you haven't checked out her blog, she's a really talented writer. Uh, she's been doing it for several years. 
and uh, I, I can't say enough good about it. She's she's very talented. Uh, but either way, uh, if you like if you like watching this, please like, share, comment. I've said it in every video. I love getting comments. I love being able to do that interaction uh, with people and, and learning more stuff. So thank you. Stay tuned next time. Appreciate it.